everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know when i was pre-shuffling for you guys i was picking up the energy of someone being sorry wanting to apologize or they're ready to come out of hiding maybe you and this person wasn't talking or uh there's something going on here so let's see so what messages do you have for the collectives all right, so we have anger problems. They have a lot of pent-up, unresolved anger issues. Some of you may be talking to a fire sign where you feel like every time you try to get your point across with this person, you guys argue instead of being able to work things out. Could be a um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius for some of you. Here, what messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? Yep, and here's the texture. All right, so this is one of the cards that I kept seeing in your pre-shuffle collective. So you could get a message... <laughs> You could get a message from somebody who they want they want to talk about something with you but the universe is saying think carefully before responding to this person and i feel like you're just here minding your own business not even caring right now or even if you do care you're not showing this person that you care and i feel like this is what's making them reach out to you because they want to know what's going on with you Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives yeah complicated and can't be trusted so i feel like the reason why you may be in this energy with your person is because you feel like they can't be trusted and so i feel like even if this person reaches out to you and texts you the reason why the universe is saying be careful before responding is because you may feel like there's still something manipulative behind the text message that you are going to get from them or you may feel like this person is not serious they're just coming in to see what you're doing and see if you're with anybody else to see what you're up to because they haven't heard from you spirit what messages do you have for the collectives we have the secret keeper secrets are being kept hidden from you move in silence and observe your surroundings at this time yeah i feel like you're gonna know though by having a conversation with this person via text message or in person or over the phone you're gonna be able to tell if this person is serious or if they're on some bs what messages do you have for the collective do they need to know we have watching you they miss you but they feel safer watching you from a distance trying to overcome their fears of reaching out to you so they're checking your social media i feel like that's a way for them to say you know whether they can reach out to you at this time if it's safe to say something or, you know, if they're um, reluctant to reaching out because they feel like you guys are going to get into an argument, I fight this person may hold back. We also have venting about you. So they're talking about you to somebody. Also be telling a friend or a family member or someone that they're close with that they can fight in, telling them like what you guys are going through. And we also have frustration. Great effort to make it work. So, okay, you're fed up. You're tired. You're tired of trying to make this connection work with this person. You're sac you feel like you're sacrificing too much. You feel depleted. So you're like, okay, I'm going to hold back. You know, if they want to talk to me, then they can call me. And I feel like for some of you, even if this person calls you, you may not want to talk to them. So you may have them blocked or you may not answer your phone. And we have the communicator. You may receive an unexpected message related to love. Be open to listening with an open mind. So the universe is saying some of you may want to listen to this person and some of you may not. Or you may listen to this person and what they have to say, you may still not want to hear it. You may be like, okay, you know, I've heard enough. I don't believe you. You know, what you're saying is not making any sense. Maybe there's something that you want to know. And maybe this person is dancing around answering your question or talking to you about the real issue. I feel like some of you are going to get a text message from this person. But you want to talk about the real issues, what's going on in the relationship, what's making him or her act the way they're acting. And I feel like this person is not going to want to talk about it. But this is someone here that does miss you. Look at your cards. We have he's depressed, keeping it to himself. I never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. And we also have back together. So we do have the reconciliation card. So someone is going to try to come back together with you. They want to heal things. They want to patch the situation up. But they're worried. I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us. And then we also have apology. So someone may feel that they can reach out and apologize to you. And that will help it. Because we have, I'm sorry, it's my fault. What can I do to make it right? So I feel like you're over here adulting. Um, 
collective <laughs> and this person is over here worried about whether you're going to take them back or not whether you still care about them because you're adulting i feel like you're taking your mind off of this person and the relationship and you're focused on bigger and better things we have taking charge of your life putting in the work being mature and responsible and someone is not you feel like this person is not being mature and responsible and you may feel like i don't have time for this we have new opportunities better things are opening up for you leave the comfort zone behind and open your world to new possibilities with an open mind so the universe is sort of saying you're doing the right thing here by focusing on yourself because there's new opportunities coming your way because you're over here adulting while this person is over here being immature as the ice cream man goes by <laughs> is that confirmation I don't know if you guys just heard that, but the ice cream truck just went by. I'm like, confirmation of this person being immature. But anyway, we have, I love you. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. And we also have the gossiper. Someone is talking behind your back and creating drama. Don't reveal too much energy and information and put it in the wrong hands. So be careful who you're talking to about what's going on in your love life because someone may be going back telling this person stuff about you or they're telling someone else something. We also have the soulmate. Prepare yourself to meet your soulmate. Open your heart and let love in. Don't close yourself off. So the universe is saying for some of you, just because you're in a bad situation with this person right now, you may meet your soulmate. So don't close off your heart chakra because of how you're feeling just because things aren't working out with this person there could be someone else coming in for you we also have stop and reassess you need more information about the situation that you're in to make the right decision look into it further and pay attention to details so the universe is saying don't overlook anything don't ignore the red flags here and we also have the side piece so for some of you this person walked away to a third party and you blocked them but they're not done they're coming back in with working it out. We have there's a third party involved in this situation or someone else's actions are going to influence the outcome. And we have walking away, leaving someone behind. But I feel like when this person did this, you may have blocked them because they weren't serious, but they didn't know you weren't going to block them. I mean, they didn't know that you were going to block them. They felt like they could just reach back out to you. And I feel like now they're figuring this out. For those of you who blocked this person, they tried to reach out to you to work something out and realize that you blocked them. You know what? I just noticed that blocked part is in reverse. Some of you may unblock this person if you did block them. So it's like you may have blocked this person and then thought about it and be like, okay, well, I do want to hear from them. So I need to unblock them in order for them to reach out to me. I just realized that was in the reverse. But we have working it out, working things out, a final effort to save the love, trying to rekindle the spark and conflict. I still feel like there's going to be conflict, though, when this person reaches out to you because they hesitated for so long. Some of you may have had a fight with this person. And then instead of them just reaching out, apologizing, taking accountability for the situation, I don't feel like they did. It says their hesitation is causing an action due to fears of your rejection. So this person feels like you're going to reject them. That's why they did not reach out to you. But now they want to. This may be someone that you feel um, you argue with all the time. That is hard to get on the same page with this person. But they always love bomb you. They always reach out to you to see if you're available. If you still love them. I feel like someone may even send you like text messages asking you those types of questions. And you're like, why do you care? Didn't you ghost me? <laughs> like, why do you care if I still love you or not? All right, let's jump into the tarot. What messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? And the Ace of Swords, you're about to get clarity from somebody. Here is the star card. Here's the healing energy. For some of you, it could be an Aquarius where you guys are going to work things out or they're going to try to work things out with you. The universe is saying, don't ignore the red flags with this person. If they don't seem sincere, I feel like you're going to turn this person away or not even answer a text message from them. Yep. And here's the Knight of Cups. This card almost slid on the floor. We have the page of, wow, look at this, Knight of Cups, 
Page of Pentacles, The Fool, and Judgment. Someone has already made up their mind that they're coming back around to you. They already made up their mind that they want a second chance. I feel like this is someone who had a wake-up call with the Judgment card being here. It could be a Scorpio. We have Aries energy, so you could be a Scorpio dealing with an Aries. Or an, um, an Aquarius dealing with an Aries. Look at that. We have Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. This is someone who wants to talk, and I feel like they want to talk bad. And the reason why they want to talk bad is because you've been ignoring this person or you haven't been giving them the energy that you used to give them. So now they're sort of confused about how you feel or what you want. They don't know what you want. Like if you're really done with them. So I feel like you're going to get a text message with this eight of wands. This could be someone who lives at a distance for some of you. I'm also picking up the energy that um, if you're dealing with someone who lives at a distance, you're pissed off at this person because you don't get to see them. And you're like, okay, you know, if like, what do we have here? If I don't ever get to see you, all I do is talk to you online or FaceTime or something. Something is um, making you question the situation with them. But anyway, with this Knight of Cups, it could be a younger earth sign or a younger water sign for some of you. The card just slipped right on the floor. Give me one second. But it's someone who's going to come in trying to get your attention if they haven't already. Because now they're curious about you. We have the strength card and the sum reverse. It's a Leo for some of you. And I feel like this person held back because of their pride and their ego. And they were like, oh, you know, that collective reach out to me first. But when they realized that you weren't going to do that, now all of a sudden they're thinking about what it is that you guys have, not wanting to let it go, you know, possibly thinking about what you guys have built over time, feeling like, you know, it doesn't make sense to just walk away from it all. Maybe we can work on it. And then the Knight of Wands is here of this person taking action. So for some of you, it's a Leo. And for others of you, it could be a Sagittarius. Or you could be a Leo dealing with a Sagittarius. So what messages do you have for the collectives? Yep, Queen of Wands with the Lovers, the Eight of Swords. This is going to confuse you. If you're a fire sign dealing with a Gemini, I feel like there's going to be some confusion as to whether you want to take this person back. Because even though you love them, you just feel like something is not going to change. So I feel like you're on the fence with this because there's a fence right behind this person. It's like, should I stay? Should I go? You know, the... You feel, um, when it comes to this situation, you feel stuck in limbo. You're like, you feel restricted in some sort of way, but you're really not. You see this person can walk right through this gate. The, um, it's like the rope that's tied around this person is really loose. It's not tight. You know, this person has a blindfold on. So it's sort of like you, you keep going back and forth in your head about what to believe when it comes to the situation, what to trust, what not to trust. But this is someone with the Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Swords. This is someone who's been watching you. Could be a fixed sign. Um, a Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or a Taurus. But yeah, with that Page of Swords here, this person's been watching you and thinking about you. With the Four of Swords, they're ready to heal whatever this is that you guys have been going through. And here's the Page of Wands. So, so far, I think feel like you have all the pages here. You have the page of swords, the page of wands, and the page of cups and the page of pentacles is down on the table. So definitely a message coming in. There's going to be a turning point, especially if you've been waiting to hear from someone, but not wanting to reach out to them. Could be a cancer here with the chariot card, or there's going to be movement. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.